Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Bancor. We are celebrating four months of NoFap and semen retention, so it is a very big day. I have a lot to share, so stay tuned for tips, tricks, and all great benefits on NoFap and semen retention. If you are new here, the Man Corps is a community for men digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want to become. Please consider subscribing. We would love to have you as a part of the community, building better men for the future. So as I mentioned, today is the celebration of really four months of NOFAP and semen retention. So I've been documenting all along, you know, 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, you know, you can check out those videos there at, uh, at the main core homepage on, uh, on YouTube. And I would encourage you to watch them. You know, it's, it's, it's been cool. You can kind of see the evolution and things that were progressing, things that I was experiencing. So if you are, you know, trialing this out for yourself or you are interested to learn a little bit more about it, that will give you some insight into, you know, the, the progress that at least I've personally had. So you know, four months, ah, fuck, that's, that's a long time, 120 days. I think, honestly, I'm even north of that now. Um, I'm, I'm a little delayed in, in, um, in posting this video because I've just gotten so busy with uh, some other things going on in life. I got a promotion at work, so i uh, really excited about that. But, um, you know, four months, that's a really, that, that's a big milestone. And when I originally set out to do this in November, or yeah, back in November of 2018, 90 days was really my target and that was you know three months well here we are over four months and i can say that since i posted that video at, at 90 days the last 30 have just literally flown by um so much so that i've even gone past that like i said so we are probably somewhere close to uh you know 145 days maybe even uh, I, i'm kind of losing count but um i haven't lost sight of the goal um i've lost count just because i've been so busy so it's Kind of a good thing but you know i've been seeing some comments about uh you know it's okay to relapse and it's okay to do this and sometimes and it, to each their own it's okay um but to be honest with you uh if you're if you're looking at it from my view i'm actually seeing the guys that are that are sticking to it and what they're saying about actually continuing on past the relapses and i'm seeing some dramatic improvements these guys are really radically changing their lives Physically in the gym, they're fucking crushing it. Their diets are great. They're becoming better with women. They're becoming better at work. Um, they're becoming, you know, really strong and and really present in their um, in their lives. You know, there's there's a lot to say for when you retreat and go fap and and go kind of retreat to those dark areas that that uh, men get tempted to do. That's that's patching up a lot of shit that's going on around you and, and, and that you're not really dealing with. So one is, you know, you're, you're really just giving yourself a, a reward that you haven't really fucking earned. And, you know, like there's, there's that joke out there, you know, where guys are, I just need to get rid of the poison. And that's just how we're wired. Like, I get it. I, I totally understand. The temptations happen to me all the time. They happen to me even still after four, after four, uh, four months. But you haven't, you haven't really, if you just go and fap and then, you know, fucking hang out and watch TV all day or the rest of the day, which, you know, I used to do that too. Like I'm, you know, I'm not embarrassed to admit it anymore. I don't have the shame that I was carrying around. But, you know, back to what I was saying, you haven't fucking earned it. Like you haven't earned that release. What have you done to, to actually, you know, take the rest of the day off? Well, you know, you just basically, you know, got up and maybe you did what you did. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, saying that you haven't done anything, but you know, you haven't really gone out and like interacted with any, any actual real women or any real people. You haven't improved your communication skills. You haven't improved your pickup skills or your dating skills or your relationship skills in any capacity, be it, um, you know, with women or otherwise yet you, you retreat to the private areas of your home where nobody can see you so that you can, you know, look at women that you'll never meet that are visually stimulating and having a release that you haven't fucking earned. Like why, why do we get to have the reward for not improving ourselves? We shouldn't. 
And that's why it has such a detrimental effect to our shame, to how we feel about ourselves, what those images and what that content does to how we view other people, other women. It really is, it, it, it's really harmful. So um, I know it's hard to, st to stick to it. And you know, you're gonna have temptations. I'm not saying that you're not gonna fail um, and that it's not okay to fail, you know, it happens. But to the extent that you're setting a goal for yourself that says it's okay to relapse every once in a while based on, you know, not really a whole lot of uh, either evidence or, or trial and error. If that's the only experience that you've had, oh, you know, I saw a couple people that were like, ah, it's okay every, you know, once every 10 to 14 days. I mean, it, if, that's, if that's what you want, that's totally cool. To me, that's mediocrity. To me, that's not stretching beyond the 10 days or the two weeks to find out what else is out there. As men, we have to stretch. We have to, we have to go beyond. We have, to, we have to dig deep to really find out what we're made of, how much we can resist the temptations, resist the urge to reach for the laptop. You know, how far can we stretch to improve our communication skills, our relationship skills? How much better and how much more can we become? How, you know, masculine energy itself is about, um, you know, breaking through growth, expansion, stretching, breaking through barriers, achieving, accomplishing missions. You're, you're not doing any of those things. You're not penetrating life. I, that kind of sounds funny, but like you're not penetrating life at all when you haven't earned anything to just, you know, go jerk it and, you know, relax for the rest of the day. You haven't contributed anything. You've been a consumer and, you know, gratifying your own needs, but it's very selfish. You have to think of that as being a very selfish act. Um, and it, it has such adverse effects to, you know, how your how it affects your interactions with people, you know, how, you, like I said, how you view women, uh, how you interact with them. Even, you know, subconsciously, when you're trying to have conversations with them, when you are with women, when you try to go up and talk to them, or when, you know, you try to appear confident, because I'm sure that if you're, if you're reading a lot of stuff on the internet about how to pick up women and how to be better with women, whatever the case may be, you probably are giving off an aura about yourself that's, that's, that's a facade. It's not real. So... When it's not real, what you don't realize is that it's not sustainable. So if she starts to shit test you a little bit, or she starts getting after you, and, and she starts kind of calling your bluff and seeing what you're made of, you're gonna fail. And the, the reality is, is that you're not congruent with what you're putting out there. Your actions and your words don't, don't match. And you know, if you look at the last video or the, any of the videos that I've been posting about, ne about negotiation, you know, when, when we say something as men, we have to be congruent with it. We can't vacillate back and forth. That makes us look weak, like we don't have a backbone. And where I'm going with this is the longer that you stay on NoFap and semen retention, you are going to feel so much better about yourself and a lot more congruent with the things that you say. So if I say that, you know, I'm not going to be doing this, I'm not going to be eating this, I'm going to, you know, abstain from the candy, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go after the things that I want. I'm going to mean what I say. I'm going to be in charge of my life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the lead on things and I'm gonna really direct my life where I want it to go. I'm gonna penetrate, I'm gonna pierce life. And you, you're so much more consistent with that when you have the energy and the vibrance that, you, that comes from, from staying off of depleting yourself of the you know the richness the the essential of life you know what 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 gives humans life is is really starts with us our seed so when you just deplete that um, and you haven't really earned it I'm sorry but you're fucking joking yourself if you think that you know that's going to move you forward as a man and I was once where you were and you know there's a lot of guys that are watching this that have been there it's not easy it's it's really hard you get tempted. You know, uh, much like the world will test you, women will test you. You know, much like, you know, the weather changes and, you know, per things are going well and you know, things are, you know, seem to be humming along and all of a sudden, like, just the boat tips over and, and shit hits the fan. Well, those are tests from the universe. And, you know, 
they're they're designed to find out um, if if you if you're really congruent with who you are. Meaning, can you handle this? Can you get through this? Are you strong enough? And the reason why that happens in Mother Nature, and the reason why why women do it, um, why they test you is they're looking for signs of insecurity. They're looking for signs of weakness. They're looking for loops in your, in, in your chain. They're looking for kinks in your chain to see you know, if they need to kind of test there, if, if they need to expose that. What I've been learning myself is that these, these tests from the universe and these tests from women are really, they're valuable experiences, they're valuable life lessons because if you're having negative reactions or if you're having negative interactions with women or you're, you're coming unglued, and um, you know it's happening in a few areas of your life. It's not necessarily about the interaction or the event that's right in front of you or that you're currently experiencing. What you're experiencing is is that the universe has put this event or that woman in front of you for a reason, and it's it's to expose you to a weakness or a truth that you need to be seeking out in yourself. And even though we hate tests for women you know, what, they, what they're really designed to do is to help us become the best version of men that we can. And what I mean by that is, this is these, these are good women. Women have good relationships with their parents. You know, they're not, um, they're not gold diggers. They're not, uh, you get that. That's not what this episode is about. But, you know, they're really designed to help, help expose your weaknesses, expose those things, and to help you become a better version. Because, if they get exposed, that means that you're going to work on them. Whether she's with you or not, they get exposed. Nowhere do you get more exposed to um, your weaknesses than in a relationship. And if you're a man, that's um, going to be most exposed when you're um, dealing with, with women. So I know that they suck. But if you're congruent with the things that, that you say, if you mean what you say, if you stick to your word, if you are congruent with your actions, if your words match your actions, those are all things that are so much easier when you when you're in tune with here when you know what's going on inside you're not trying to cover up the shit that you've been doing in in the privacy of your own home or you know things that you don't want people to know about and the guilt that you carry around for that now to be honest with you in the last couple months i i mean it hasn't been perfect i still deal with issues all the time um you know i'm still getting blown off by girls and i'm still getting rejected in sales deals at work and you know life is fucking tough but these are all tests of my strength and my character and who I am going to become they're all designed to help me stretch and figure it out who it is at my core but you know by and large if I look at the last four months I've sold more at work than I I have in the first year um, and even before then like it, it's crazy now because deals are just coming through and they're coming through just very naturally, very organically, almost like I'm attracting it without even having to try. And it works the same way with women. You don't have to try so hard. It's just, you're more of a magnet for success. You're more of a magnet for uh, good things, good opportunities. And the world is sort of conspiring to help you. I've also gotten a promotion at work. So because I've stretched out of my comfort zone, because I felt like I was worthy, because I was confident to go after what I wanted and I knew at my core that I deserve to have the position. I went after what I wanted and um, I'm now in, in a promoted role. And you know, the, the deals continue to come in. And this year is uh, looking to be, you know, really, I'm really excited about this year, about this opportunity. It's not gonna be sunshine and fucking roses. You know, I'm gonna cut my teeth and I'm gonna, you know, fall down and, and, and get back up and try to figure out how to, you know, make this one work and, and then I'll go on. You know, it's just, it, it's, you don't, I won't get stagnated. I'm going to keep going on and keep growing and expanding. But the reality is, is that, you know, a lot of this stuff comes from the fact that I just feel better about myself. I'm, you know, I feel more confident. I feel more congruent. I feel just healthy. I have a clear mind. Um, I don't have a lot of distractions about what's going on. My, my intention is very focused. I'm piercing through life and um, it feels really good, and I, you know, I'm grateful to be able to come here and, and and express and share a lot of my experience with you guys because I know that you know a lot of you go through these challenges just like I do, 
and life can be tough, but you know, a lot of times guys just need to know that they're not the only ones dealing with this shit and you're not. So again, four months, I know that you guys have your own individual experiences and I, I'm not going to get in the way of that. You own, you know, you best. And I wish nothing but the, the very best success for you. I just would encourage you to continue to stretch and expose yourself and test the limits of what you can do and what you can resist against old patterns. The past does not equal the future. You don't know who it is that you can possibly become. I don't even know who that is, but it's fun to, you know, discover who that may be and find out really what you're made of. You know, the, the longer that I've gone on and done this, I've found out that there was some shit that I hadn't dealt with that I wasn't as strong or as confident or as congruent or as, um, as, as rich in character as I fucking thought I was. So there's, there's, there's a humbling piece to this too, because you kind of get put in your place, you know, um, which has definitely happened over the, over the past few months. But, you know, again, we're all in this together. So I would encourage you guys to continue to stretch and, you know, post your feedback, share your comments, like the video, share the video. Please do share the channel with anybody that you think would be good contributors here at the Vancore. I love coming to you guys to share this stuff. So uh, again, we're trying to build the community. So uh, please subscribe if you have not done so and then click the bell to be notified for future videos. I got to rock, fellas. It's been great to chat with you. Keep on rocking. Cheers.